We are Team CivSafe, Civilian Spinal Aid for Emergencies, and we're a multidisciplinary senior design team with the Oshman Engineering Design Kitchen. We are working on developing a new device to immobilize the neck once you've been in a fall or a car crash or something where you've been injured and we need to keep you as still as possible on your way to the hospital. This is our design. It's called the head case. It's compri comprised of a rigid plastic structure and also foam elements to secure the head and immobilize the neck as much as possible. The current device is a collar that wraps around your neck. It's used if you've had a neck injury that might happen in a car crash or fall. Unfortunately, um, recent data has shown that it can push your head away from your body and that further separates damaged vertebrae, which can make your injury worse. So our job is to create a new device that stabilizes the neck without causing this dangerous distraction force. It's roughly about a 60 second application time. You start with uh, putting it around the head there. There's a chest restraint down here that also uh, serves to keep the entire device immobilized. Our device also has a chin strap for further immobilization uh, to keep the head from um, moving downward or upward. And our device also has a number of points of adjustability. Uh, as you can see, there's wing nuts here so you can uh, slide these pieces uh, laterally or uh, you can adjust the angle as well. We had to kind of figure out like what kind of distraction forces are really um, harmful, like how much distraction is too much, and also just figure out what other criteria or, desi or design would have to fit in order to be used like in the market. So cost, having it be radio translucent so it can go through CT scans, um, and just like being able to lie flat so it can be stored easily in ambulances. Comfort also to prevent pressure source. So at the beginning, it was, I think, almost a shock for all of us when we learned the problems that the current cervical collar has. And so I think when we realized that and started reading the literature, that this is a serious problem, but no one's found a solution, we all got excited. So I think our team was excited. And one aspect was we're all engineers. So, you know, three bioengineers and three mechanical engineers. So we were excited to find a new design, something that can replace it um, and actually work in the market.